Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's time for another Mr. Post Op video. And today we are going to talk about eight eyes, as I promised in my video of Master of Darkness. I wanted to check out both of these games that are Castlevania like. And uh, I wanted to get them out in time for Halloween because they're both kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. So this is Eight Eyes. I got this on eBay. And it came in a case. I actually had these cases as a kid. I bought a bunch for my Nintendo games at the time. So it's always cool when you see a listing that still has these. Because I do have like, I don't know, probably 30 of them laying around. Not laying around. They got the games in them. It came with the instruction manual too, which is wicked awesome. This is Eight Eyes. It's made by Taxon. Is that the name? Taxon? Texan? I'm not a Texan. Taxon. I'm a Pennsylvanian. Like Transylvania. <laughs> Transylvanian. Pennsylvania. Eight Eyes. And this is the instruction manual. The game's nice and clean. It's good. And this will be a first time playing. I briefly looked at things on this. I think John Riggs made me aware of in one of his videos that it is Castlevania-like. I never knew that. I remember seeing this in the rental stores and probably the, the department stores too. Probably the Sears wish list and the JCPenney Christmas catalog, but it just never jumped out at me. Not like a Bionic Commando or something like that would at the time. Uh, eight Eyes, you know, you see the name Eight Eyes and you're like, whoa, what the heck's that? A little spider? Spider have eight eyes? I don't know. I don't know. But I got the instruction manual here with it. You know, and and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, and I'm not going to look up a lot online about it. I'm going to play the game. It's not going to be a review. It's just going to be me playing it for the first time. Uh, it's not going to be a walkthrough. I'm not going to get real far. I'm sure I'll suck at it. There's the instructions. We've got some color in there. I should read it all to see what I should do. I should look up some hints, but I'm just going to get right to it when I play it. Showing you the instructions really quick. That chick's kind of hot. Not this. That's a dude, I think. Him, her, who am I to pronoun? Other enemies. Yeah, this instruction manual is in really great shape. Still got the staple in it. It's not all falling to pieces, so. There goes the game. We'll see if it uh, fires up on my NES. Dropped it on the floor. All right, well, without further ado, let's go play the game. Okay, now again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Probably should have watched more on this, but... And it's not a review. It's just me playing. You can see what you think of it right here. This is me. I do have the instruction book for this one, but... Uh, aside from just looking at the pictures... <laughs> you know, kind of like with Hustler and Playboy. Yeah, I didn't really read a whole lot on it. So... I guess here we can pick... Where we're going... And I really don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just going to pick one.
need a whip. Need a whip. Whip it good. Want me? Okay, my bird's leaving. I must have sent him off somehow. Okay, push up, he came back. Push up. I see. My birdie's going to attack. He's got, he's got crossbows and stuff. Come on, bird. Do him good. I can't duck under that. I'm about to die. This guy. Whoa, wait. Hey. That guy invincible? Okay, ooh, I guess I should have read something because I don't know where I'm going or what the hell I'm doing. How do I kill that guy? He doesn't die. Ah, there's a switch for the door. Kind of blend it in there. Jawa. Oh, that's a cheat. I do have bouncy balls. I should use my bouncy balls. I don't have any more bouncy balls. Wait. Hmm. Yeah. Game over. Jawa. Flaming skull. Wow. My lick kicked. Wall me. Oh boy. Send my bird in there? I'm guessing. Uh, a 
maybe. No? Interesting. What am I missing here, guys? That wasn't wall meat. Naked guy. Oh, all kind of weird guys dressed like babies. I used to have them on talk shows. Got to wear the diaper and get their butts powdered by their girlfriends and stuff. Ooh. Why? What's with some of these invincible style guys? Nothing. Well, it's just a bunch of boo shit. Baby. Alright, well that's it for now. I do think it's fun. I do think it's very Castlevania. I do think there's a lot of grown men dressed in diapies. They want their bottoms talcum. But that's eight eyes. I think it's going to be a fun game once I figure it out. Hmm. Alright, so that is Eight Eyes on the NES, and I enjoyed that game. I didn't know what the hell was going on couldn't tell. I think that there's probably a certain way you should go maybe with certain weapons. I need to read up on it. I need to look it up on the internet and check it out. But I thought it was a lot of fun. Very Castlevania-like. Like I said, I don't remember the exact year. Let's see if the uh, instruction manual says anything. It says 88. That's not too... Oh, 89. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> I can't remember when it was released exactly. I know I saw it at one point, though. It might have been 89, maybe it was 90, which is pretty much later on. Uh, my Super Nintendo 
for Christmas of 91. But I thought it was a really fun game. I personally, off camera, I'm going to delve into this further, just like I'm going to with Master of Darkness, because I thought it was a lot of fun, and because I love the old school Castlevania games. So let me know what you think down below. Have you played this game? Are you going to play it? Are you going to emulate it? Are you going to buy it for your original NES? Are you going to put it on your modded uh, Super, or sorry, your Nintendo Classic Mini, or your modified Wii, or Retro Pie? We got Bush. Hey, pie! Uh, let me know down below what you think of this game. I did suck at it. Definitely sucked at it. Never played it before, though. I was uh, off the seat of my pants. Here we go. Turn it on. I did that a lot in the 80s. Didn't read about certain things in Nintendo Power or the Fun Club magazine from Nintendo or Electronic Gaming Monthly. I threw the game in, especially when I rented it. A lot of these rental places, uh, the instruction manual wasn't the original. It was the photocopied version because too many little assholes were losing the real one, like my friend did. He lost the one to Ghoul School. Ghoul School. And they kept getting on him. You have the instruction manual for Ghoul School. And he said, nope, I don't have that instruction manual for Ghoul School. And he told him that forever. And it was like five, ten years later. I think he was getting rid of a couch or digging in his old couch. And he found that manual. By then, they weren't even renting NES games anymore. I have to see if he has that, because I do have a copy of Ghoul School without the manual. Maybe he still has it. That would be very nostalgic. I used to take my Nintendo to his house because he didn't have one, and we would play that. And then at some point, he did get that, but then by then, I had the Super NES, so uh, he didn't have that. So I would bring my Super NES over, and we would rent games for both systems and play the hell out of them. It was awesome, because... At his house, it was kind of like, you know, it was his dad, him, and his brother there. Uh, his mom and dad were uh, divorced at the time, and his mom and sister moved away. So it was like, the weekends were ours there. The dad was awesome, you know, and we would go play games, NES, Super NES. But that is Eight Eyes, and if you haven't checked it out, I, may, I uh, uploaded a video yesterday about Master of Darkness. For the Sega Master System, go check it out. It's very Castlevania-esque. <laughs> Same with Eight Eyes. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Nacho, come here, Nacho. No biting, no bite. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop.